Hey guys, my name is James Diaz, and with Excelsior Gaming, and today we are here to talk about the XNG Bacon and Eggs Elite Weapon, as you can see right there on the screen. Um, I got these recently, and I figured why not make a video of it, and uh, I'm just going to be talking about it, what it was like. It's really, really difficult to use, at least for me it was. Um, the best way to probably get kills with this is to lock in like I am now. Um, that was a really lucky, lucky kill. Um, if you don't lock in and you try running around, it, it's like as effective as a shotgun. It's really, really hard to use. Um, but right here, you can see I lock in. I'm just waiting. The best way to use this weapon, I think, pretty much, the best way it worked out for me is camping. Which, I know people don't like camping. But there's nothing, I have nothing against camping. No, if you, uh, if you get kills, I don't really care. <laughs> See, I'm getting a bunch of kills here. That was a terrible spawn for that guy. I'm pretty sure he spawned there. He just, like, appeared right there. I don't know. I'm not playing live, just in case you're wondering. I uh, should have said that at the beginning. I'm just going to be talking about this weapon here. This epic... Or, eh. I kind of like it now, a little bit. I didn't like it when I was using it, trying to get this video. But now that I have it, and uh, I got the hang of it, it turned out to be a little bit fun. This is a pretty cool kill right here. I mean, you could tell that the bullets just spray everywhere like crazy, and I don't even know how I got a headshot there. That doesn't make any sense to me. Um, I was using the overclock because I figured that with the huge weapons, it would make me slower, which it does. So I figured that the overclock would help with that. And uh, honestly, I don't know. Yeah, I like I liked using the overclock with this. I always use overclock with everything. I don't like running around slow. I don't know why. Um, with... Uh, it really, really helps with this weapon. I was trying to figure out how to say that. It really, really helps with this weapon to, to have radar, to know, to watch your radar really well, and to see when people are coming, to be prepared for when they're coming. Like, if you can tell that someone's coming around a corner, just lock in instantly, and just wait. <laughs> and when you lock in, um, the aim is uh, a lot, like, it's really touchy. When you lock in, you can move the aim super fast. So you gotta be careful with that. And yeah, I actually do pretty well in this in this video, which is nice. So I'm just uh just locking in, trying not to run around too much. So yeah, back here again, locked in, and boom, one kill. I have to give these weapons this, that they do kill really fast. And the nice thing about it is you have so much ammo you can just spray as much as you want. But reloading, I wanna show you guys this, reloading sucks. Look how slow it takes. And that's why um, I went into this building here, so I wouldn't die <laughs> while I was reloading. I would really suggest uh, uh, being really careful with these weapons <laughs> when you're reloading. And honestly, for me, running around didn't work out very well. Locking in is what worked out mostly for me. Camping, like I said, working out mostly for me. And just watching my radar, seeing where people are and being prepared for them. I was definitely not prepared for that. But I'm still doing okay, I'm at 12 and 8. Um, <coughs> yep. So it's it's pretty hard to get a kill with without locking in, just running around. Otherwise, it, once you get the hang of these weapons, they're actually pretty fun. Once you get the hang of them, but it takes a while. <laughs> it took a while for me to get the hang of them, <laughs> or to get the hang of them, to get used to them, I guess. I don't know, but it it actually is pretty fun once you get used to them. Uh, died there. Yeah. We're going to be making tons of elite weapon gameplay. This is going to be our first. And we're going to... Just all the elite weapons that we have. I think I already watched that. Did I watch that? No, I didn't. Okay. See, I saw someone coming. And I just went in and hid. And he killed my teammate and expected that I was dead. But I wasn't. And I took him out. Bam. Stinking head. A little bit. You. <laughs> yeah. And this happens... We're kind of just chilling. We got to get to the other side. You have to. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, that was good. Point blank. Those are good. So I think I'm gonna. I see people on my radar behind me. So I'm just gonna sit, lock in, take them out. That's honestly the best way to use these weapons. To watch your radar, be really careful. Just lock in and take people out. Think of yourself more as a turret, I think, than as just a guy running around. Because I mean, they wouldn't give you the ability to lock in like a turret. If they didn't want you to be like a turret, <laughs> you know? 
I actually do honestly like these weapons. They're definitely not my favorite elite guns. I really like the AK finger trap. I want to get the rip and see what the difference is. Um, and I'll be making gameplays of those and we'll be putting them up for you guys to see what they're like. So honestly, I think if you're gonna use this weapon, definitely try to camp as much as you can. Um, you can try to run around and maybe it'll work out for you. It really did not work out for me. And reloading, definitely get cover while reloading or you're gonna die because this is a really long reload. So I'm just camping here. I'm like one kill, I'm one kill away from getting my Goliath, which I set up because it's a heavy weapons class, so I figured why not. So yeah, see these guys? Get that double kill, get my Goliath. And I'm running around trying to, I'm gonna go call it in and wait for it. And we lose, we lost. But I ended up doing pretty well, I got 21 and nine. I actually do like these weapons. If you're gonna use them, I would highly suggest camping. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope this showed you a little bit of what this gun is. And uh, good luck trying it out. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in another video. Goodbye.